Hello everybody, it is Emery48 here and welcome back to another Marvel Monday. Today we are diving into Morbius, uh, which we'll just start from the very beginning of the movie, was intriguing. Um, you know, you've got this doctor who wants to fix his ability, or inability I guess, of walking. Uh, or not being able to walk, that's probably the better phrase for that. Um, and uses baths, which is great. And this movie came out in 2022, so they already knew the world's thoughts on baths. Uh, so that's good. Um, it, and then it just got really weird. The whole vampire thing, pretty odd, let's be honest. I will say, Marvel has given us Matt Smith as a villain and David Tennant as a villain. And Matt Smith villain monologue, very cool. Matt Smith fight scenes, a bit odd, but the, all the fight scenes in this movie were a bit strange. So that's fine. It wasn't really a f action movie in my opinion. It was, what did it consider itself? It considered itself horror science fiction. Um, I'd say there was only like two scenes of horror where, it, you know, on the boat where it kind of felt like alien uh, and in the hospital where it gave you the very good something is behind me feel. But other than that, not really horror. Science fiction, yeah, sure. Yeah, well, we're on with that one all day. Um, Matt Smith was a bright spot. Honestly, I think, uh, is it Jared Leto? Is that his name? Is that the, it's not gonna give me actors. Oh, it is gonna give me actors. Yeah, Jared Leto. Um, he played a pretty good character. Uh, the, just whenever they're in Vampire State, it's just kind of odd. Um, overall story wasn't bad. Oh yeah, action's like the fourth thing that they list, so that's fine. It didn't need to be good at action, I guess. Um, it's just, it, there's just, it's just odd. It really is. Um, I feel like I needed to put my Doctor Who thinking cap on before watching this more than I did just by wanting to see Matt Smith, uh, just in the terms of like, accepting the story where it took you um because at first i wasn't sure who the villain was going to be because you know when the good guy kills eight people are they really the hero mm -hmm. um martine living through that was kind of cool i figured she would when she bit him and ate his blood because then she would have the gene in there and because she had so little it will probably it took longer to take effect is my guess um i'm just intrigued if they're actually going to make a follow-up on this it's only two years old so i wonder if there's anything in the lines to make especially because they had michael keaton at the end um, so will there be a crossover with Tom Holland's Spider-Man? Uh, it, so it's very interesting. I, I don't know where we're going to go from here um, with this, or if it's going to go anywhere. Frankly, the whole beginning part where they never actually explained how they caught the bats was odd. They were just all of a sudden there. Um, also, bat bending. Bit weird. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know. That it, There was just a lot of odd. I think there was bright spots in the movie. There certainly were. Um, but I, I think it just left me more confused at times than entertained. And maybe that confusion hit itself in intrigue of trying to figure out what was happening. It kind of felt like... Uh, you know, the hearing of Daredevil, but he can still see. So that's a thing. Yeah. It was a fine movie. Well, be realistic. It was nowhere near the worst Marvel slash X-Men slash whatever movie that I've watched. It was much better than the worst. Was it in the middle? No. Uh, it's It's in the lower half for sure. Um, it's not going to go on the ranking for now, I think. Actually, I probably should put it in the ranking because it did pull in Michael Keaton. 
which means it's probably involved in the actual thing, which is mildly terrifying. Um, let's take a look. Ooh. I don't know. It's definitely worse than Homecoming, so that's a thing. Uh, was it better than Age of Ultron? No. I don't think it was. I'm going to put it four from the bottom. This, all, this list also doesn't include... X-Men. X-Men's its own thing, because those were... Interesting. Um, so it doesn't include X-Men, and it's four from the bottom. I think that's fair. Uh, it puts it above two of the Thors and Captain Marvel. I think that's a decent place to put it. I, I'm intrigued to see what the sequel's going to be, though. Um, if they make anything beyond with this character set. Um, it's sad to see Matt Smith gone, realistically. Uh, that's another shame. They bring Matt Smith and David Tennant in, and they're just, they just don't come back for sequels because they're dead. Um, so that's a thing. Uh, overall, I wouldn't watch it again, <laughs> I guess. Uh, if you have had the pleasure of watching Morbius, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. That's all I have for this movie. I don't really know what else to say. Um... Thank you everybody so much for watching, and I hope you have a better day than somebody who got bit by a vampire. <laughs>